Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool graph you see right behind me. So, see this right here? This is a cool graph of international furniture part transactions. So this is for a company that sells parts for furniture all over the world, as you can see here. This is a neat graph. This uses ClickSense and it uses Excel. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with first I want to show you the Excel sheet that I'm using. So, it's right here. This is a data set of the sales. So you can see here, here's the uh, uh, country, the uh, con or the uh, province or state. Uh, you know, obviously if it's the U.S., you'll have some Alaska and things like that in here. Cities, uh, the transactions, units, sales, and the latitude and longitude. So for this, with ClickSense, you would need to have the latitude and the longitude or else it's not going to give you a map. It's going to give you something else. It'll let you pick a bar chart or anything else. But I need these two right here. So you need to have latitude and longitude. Where's its exact locations? So what I do is I take this. I'm going to access this from ClickSense. So let's bring up ClickSense here. And I can either open up a new uh, application very easily in here and uh, look at my data. Or I can just go and look at the uh, data manager right here. And this shows you once you've loaded it in. Here's your country, your province, state, city, transactions, units, sales, and latitude and longitude. This is just a sample of the top, I think it's eight fields across, and uh, or, uh, it only shows you so much data here. But you can go and take this and see all through the data if you want. You can scroll through it. So once you're done there, you load your data in. Um, and uh, from there, you can go and look at... Uh, you know what you have if you've changed it here it's loading the data in edit the sheet okay now this is the same sheet so what I've done once you're into the sheet okay is you go to map which is right here you click this it'll come out and it'll ask you for a dimension so if I were to take this and let's just shrink this down so I can show you what I'm doing so here's that let's take another map boom boom there it is it'll ask you for a dimension now, if you don't have latitude and longitude, once you click on this, it won't find anything. It won't give you anything. This will be blank, and it'll just have this, and then you won't be able to draw a map. So you need to pick a dimension. If I pick country, right, it's going to be a little bit different. That's not country I picked there, but I could pick country. Then you'll see there is no other area to add another dimension. So what we got to do is go down here to appearance, okay, and what we want to do is go to colors and legend. So down here I could do this and go to uh, take it off of auto, take it off of single color. This is where it gets interesting. Now I can say by measure. So now I want it, let's say instead of by transactions, I want by sales. So I can go in here, pull this up. This is the expression editor. And I can go in here and make sure I pick my table. And uh, from here I can go here and pick, let's see, uh, country apply oops insert first then we hit apply okay and then we can go down here and pick the gradient if we want and see if it's a good uh, actually we don't country we want sales so let's just pick that uh, sales let's pick sales and apply and it, oh, it didn't do it because we got to insert it so let's get rid of this one Let's put sales in there again. Uh, sales. Okay. Insert. Apply. And there we go. Now we can start seeing some sales. See the colors down in there? Now keep in mind, this is by country. This is not by city. So I can go and take this and click here or click here. And I can change the colors, how they show up. And here's the uh, legend down here. Uh, but again, it's not going to show every country. It's not going to show as nice as this. So instead, what I want to do is go back here and instead of country I want to delete that and let's put in city so this is what I did over here so see how it's got these ugly big blue dots you can't see anything right now it's not very good so let's take the bubble size on down a little bit okay I think I'm lower than that let's do it a little bit lower it's close a little bit lower maybe you know what too small that's about where it is maybe a little bit bigger but now from here what we'll do is we'll go down. We already have that. Same thing with appearance. Same thing we just did. So I got colors and legend right, right here. So we're going to take it off of auto, off of single color, go to measure, right? So what I had here was transactions. Here's sales. So you can look at the sales. This automatically gives you a range 
we don't need to accept that range we could say because it's got 2.83 million as the high end so we could say you know maybe we want instead we want 0 to uh, 3 million and it'll automatically put it in there it is and we can see the high end is in red we can also reverse it and put the high end in blue and the low end in red or we could do it the other way let's just reverse it again and what we could do here you could also do sequential class if you want you can do that too if you like those colors better I like to have this because it really shows makes it makes the bottom pop from the top and uh, let's bring this down because we know it was 2.8 million so 2800000 and there we go so this is basically the same kind of graph but this is with sales what we just did here this is with transactions so this would be your total sales that would be your transactions for air, each area so we could go here to done or we could go here and just say that's uh, international uh, furniture part uh, what would this be this would be sales so you could do that hit done here now look see this is the navigation this one does not so we need to do is go back and edit it again so let's put in the navigation we see right here where it says off as long as we're clicked in here it'll put it here if we're not we'll put it somewhere else so we click this there are navigations back on now we click done and now we've got two graphs here one for transactions and one for sales we could have named it something up here but it doesn't matter that's this is our sheet so here's our transactions and we can actually drill in and drill in some more we could go and say I want to drill in on Europe let's do that there we go and I could go here and say let's do the same thing let's drill in and let's do one more right here and there we go so there's our sales versus our transactions so sales aren't just because you have let's see a high number of transactions does not necessarily mean you have the highest number in sales dollars so this in Portugal this dot right here which is Valadolid valid, 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 got a hard name there uh, has a high level of transactions there somewhere right in here but their sales are low right in the 830 so they're right in here compared to everything else versus this city right here what's this city this is basil has a very high sales and let's see if we can find that over here is that it there it is and it has high transactions so it has both so what's cool with this is you can take this concept and idea to any data that you're using and you can pull the data set up in Excel. If you have latitude and longitude, great. If you don't, you have to get it, bring it in, and then you can do this with it and have some really cool graphs. You could snapshot this and show somebody, hey, here's some areas of opportunity in the United Kingdom. We're not hitting sales in these areas. Or we have uh, uh, high transactions, like here, see, there's all these reds. But we don't have anything red in there they're mostly blue so what that means is I've got a lot of low sales I've got high transactions but very low sales amounts and which means low profit probably right here in the United Kingdom and I can look at that also same with uh, up here in Sweden and Norway same thing I've got a dot here which has high transactions but it has very low sales again so it's right here in this range right here so that's how you do it. If you want to know how to bring in your data set, you know, you can just go and start a new app. Um, we can go out here. You can create a new app at the beginning. You go here, you create a new app just like this. Title your app, call it uh, International uh, Furniture Sales or something like that. Hit create. I've got other videos that show you exactly how to do this too. And once you create it, you open up your app and from here you bring in your data once this comes up you got to give it a second you click here and uh, once you've clicked there then you would go to your computer or you can wherever you want to get your data from and here you see me I'm going to my desktop so let's see we need to go here and I have my uh, files for that here and in Excel and there it is international furniture sales so I just click here and it automatically comes in and then I just hit add data 
if I don't want to bring in a column, I can just click it out, click it out. But you obviously want those two, latitude and longitude, or also not going to be able to do maps like we just did. But that's how it works. Um, in a nutshell, you can see it. You can save it once you're done. And uh, you can create some really cool uh, maps and uh, things like that where you can start to see uh, insights into what's working, what's not. And uh, so I hope you found this interesting and helpful. And uh, I use these every day in data analysis and data science for pulling data for large companies, small companies, international companies, local companies, whatever. So uh, have some fun. Try it out. Clicks deck, Click Sense Desktop is freely available on the Internet. You can go and download it, and uh, you'll get something like this where you'll be able to go and build your own applications in there and be able to pull up, once you've saved it, your maps like I just created for you. So, and I walked you through it. We created one, I showed you one beforehand. So now you know how to do it. Uh, start building those apps, building those great looking maps, and you'll have your users loving you because they love to see visuals like that. And you can pull great insights from that and see areas of opportunity. So again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and have a great day.